is on it. Can Nigeria really achieve a cashless economy or less cash? It's less cash. So like I told you, there's no way that's cashless. Now, mind you, the, there are merits and demerits with cashless society and all. A place like Germany, they don't believe in cards that much. If you are going to Germany today, you are advised to hold your euro cash because maybe, in fact, people traced it back to maybe their experiences with world wars. In fact, the Weimar, remember the Weimar Germany post First World War where all of a sudden you needed a, 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 a wheelbarrow load of cash to go and buy a, a loaf of bread yeah. and all of that. So because of what they've been through, the average German doesn't even understand credit card as in, why would I spend money that I don't, I don't have? have. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so why like would you US. want to spend money you don't have? <laughs> have Please yes. go and work and make money. Yeah. So you've seen stable wages in Germany. And that's, however, that's also part of why Germany is perhaps the, 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 the meanest machine, uh, you know, arguably in the world, and certainly in Europe is the oppressive economy in Europe. Side by side with a like, country like Greece, mm -hmm. that is not very productive, and people are demanding for higher wages, inflation is high. In Germany, inflation, in fact, people allege that, you know, in terms of the uh, currency union, that Germany basically foisted what it could do on the rest of them, maintaining 3% inflation rate and all of that. Of course, the dynamics have changed post COVID, you know, but in those days, they could maintain 3%. Uh, inflation rate, 3% uh, budget deficit to GDP and co. Uh, and, and they said, listen, everybody has to accept this, you know. Part of the reason why UK pulled that is because they felt that that was really constraining and so on. Uh, so, yeah, so, so cashless is by degree. Um, which, uh, what the central banks should probably be looking at is to say, um, if, for example, Nigeria was using 80% to 20%, 80% uh, cash, 80 cash mm -hmm. to 20% electronic, before before this policy, if you can achieve 60 to 40, that would be something. If you can achieve 50 to 50, that would be great. More people are now using um, electronic, e must be said. Yeah. But again, the point is the frustrations of it. The fact that everybody is moving in that direction at the same time uh, is also something that ought to have been modeled okay, uh, in the policy. And I think that Central Bank must also continue to give more space continue to release more cash, you know, continue to ease up the system, interact with the banks, and also go out and also scout on the streets. Okay, as I was coming now, I passed through some banks in the Guarimpa area. I realized that Keystone had a very big crowd. I don't know why, but the other banks I passed, I think it must be Access Bank and um, you know, Zenith Bank. Bank. It wasn't that bad, you know, I could see. But then I passed one bank, that actually shuts its, its gates to everybody. Now, that is not good because um, are we saying that people's uh, confidence in the banking sector is eroded? I don't think banks should have to close down their, their, their branches.